Hello, I'm Les Bailey with the Les Bailey and Associates real estate team of Keller Williams Alaska Group. And thank you for watching my video blog. Today I'd like to present a recap of what's been going on in the local real estate market during the first five months of 2011. In general, the market here in South Central Alaska remains strong in comparison to the lower 48. We appear to, for the time being, to have dodged the bullet. Our local economy is relatively strong with unemployment rates at about 4% uh, here in the Anchorage area. Interest rates remain at historical lows. The Les Bailey and Associates real estate team are once again having another great year. In fact, as we end up the fifth month of 2011, our business is up 133% in comparison to 2010. And 2010 was our absolute best year in the past 20 years. How long will these trends continue? That's anybody's guess. The local economy remains a very fragile thing and the recovery from our recession is not yet in sight. Our national debt continues to soar and our elected politicians only agreement is to continue to disagree. Interest rates cannot and will not remain low. The current rate is only as low as it is because of government bailout money which ends at the end of June in 2011. As a nation, we're losing faith, trust, and confidence of our foreign investors. The lack of a national energy policy does not bode well for the Alaskan economy. As the oil companies continue to pull in their horns and move to locations where the political climate is more conducive to exploration. Over the past seven uh, or one in every seven homes in the United States is currently in some stage of foreclosure. 27% of all the homes that sold across the United States are bank-owned foreclosure. In the U.S., we've had 57 straight months of decline in the real estate market values. While I'm not an economist, I'm also not a prophet of doom and gloom. I believe our housing market nationally has not yet hit rock bottom and things could get a lot worse before they get better. With that said, I strongly believe in the real estate market. There's probably not a better time during my lifetime to buy and sell real estate. Currently here in Alaska, we're not anywhere near the doom and gloom of some markets in the lower 48. So let's take a closer look at what's going on in our local market. Currently in Anchorage, we have 1,057 homes on the market. 307 of these homes are in what we call sell pending status, which gives us a pending ratio of about 29%. At this rate, if no new homes were listed, it would take us approximately 3.4 months to exhaust our inventory of homes for sale. Over the past six months, we've seen 751 acreage homes that have sold and 168 homes that fell to sell. Of the homes that sold, the average initial list price was $335,059. Sellers later reduced their price by an average of $12,762 for a new average list price of $322,297. When these properties ultimately sold, they sold for $5,014 below the new listed price, or $17,776 below the seller's initial listed price. This, of course, indicates that sellers and some realtors continue to overprice their listings. The average home took 77 days to sell, whereas the average listing on the market has been on the market for 96 days. These active listings, of course, indicates many properties that are overpriced and probably will not sell. Now let's take a 
trip further north to the Eagle River Chugiak market. In Eagle River and Chugiak, currently we have 349 homes listed for sale. Of these, 164 homes are in sell pending status, which gives us a pending ratio of 29.8%. At this rate, if no homes, new homes were listed, it would take us about 3.4 months to exhaust our inventory. Over the past six months, we've seen 195 Eagle River Chugiak homes that sold and 46 homes that failed to sell. Of the homes that sold, the average initial list price was $346,134. Sellers later lowered their price by an average of $14,078 for a new average list price of $332,056. When these properties ultimately sold, they actually sold for $872 above the new average list price. This really demonstrates to me the importance of getting the, the price right in the first place. The average home took 84 days to sell, whereas the average home that is currently actively listed has been on the market for 89 days. Now, moving further north yet to Palmer and Wasilla Market, let's find out what's going on there. Currently, in Palmer and Wasilla, we have 906 homes on the market. Of these, 226 are in sell pending status, which gives us a pending ratio of 24.9%, or about 4 percentage points below the Anchorage and Eagle River Chugiak market. At this rate, if no new homes are listed, it will take approximately 4 months to exhaust our inventory. Over the past six months, we've seen 453 Palmer Wasilla homes sell and 157 homes that failed to sell. Of the homes that sold, the average initial list price was $240,460. Sellers later reduced their price by $11,481 for a new average list price of $228,979. The, when these properties ultimately sold, they sold for $6,307 below the initial list price. This, of course, once again indicates that many sellers and their realtors are overpricing their homes. These homes took an average of 97 days to sell. So all in all, we have a good solid market here in South Central Alaska. In my 20 plus years of experience, I've learned that real estate sells for five reasons. First of all, you have location. You've heard it said, the three most important things in real estate is location, location, location. The second thing that sells real estate is the condition of the property. You never get a second chance to make a good first impression. So you need to make sure your home appeals to the buyer's eyes. Sometimes a few hundred dollars worth of paint will increase the seller's bottom line by thousands of dollars. Basically, we can take a lesson from the used car salesman who prior to placing a car on the lot, sends it down to the detail shop to shine it up like a brand new baby's rear end. The curb appeal factor cannot be overstated. You must engage a buyer's interest. The third thing that sells real estate is price and possibly the most important factor. Buyers didn't fall off the turnip wagon on their way to town. They're shopping by comparisons. They're comparing other houses that their realtor shows them to your house. If you're overpriced, you may have just helped your neighbor sell his own. The previous statistics that I explained to you provide uh, help show that many sellers are caught chasing the market downward by lowering their price. Whereas sellers who properly price their home right in the first place typically sell quicker and they do not have to lower their price and oftentimes their home sells for more than asking price. The fourth thing that sells real estate is terms. What are interest rates doing? When can we close? Who's playing for closing costs? etc etc and finally the fifth thing that sells real estate is the realtor you select 
to sell your home. Unfortunately, all realtors are not created equally, and only about about 10% of the realtors actually sell 90% of the homes that get sold. The importance of selecting a good realtor cannot be overstated. If you or someone you know is interested in selling, buying, or investing in real estate, give the Les Bailey & Associates real estate team a call. You can reach us at 907-694-1234 or visit us on the web at www.lesbaileyandassociates.com. We would love to help you. You can trust we will always give you straight answers and work in your best interest. As our slogan says, you always get more with less. Thank you so much for watching our video blog. Stay tuned for periodic updates, and we hope to see you on the phone soon.